Uh, come on, Mike. <laughs> pick, pick, pick your status here. Am. Alright, I think we're all set now. <laughs> Been a bunch of last minute uh, discoveries that a bunch of stuff broke today. So I did a uh, big Windows update this morning and didn't realize that it broke the hell out of my mic settings. And then uh, I also didn't know that the uh, streaming software update broke the hell out of some other settings. So it's been a 20 25 minute scramble to, to fix things i think we're back let me know if anything seems weird strange broken different uh, i'm still not convinced i got everything back exactly the way i want it or it used to be so things seem off in some way let me know uh looks like mike's working finally face cam's working lights are working i think everything's working is the mouse pointer in the right place Damn mouse pointers in the wrong place. <laughs> Back to the main menu. I uh, just can't catch a break today. All right, mouse pointer. Be in the right place this time. Do do. Alright. Circling the column of numbers. Yay. Alright. Mouse is back in the right place. Alright. Damn. Just everything's breaking today. Um, looks like we got the whole screen represented. Yeah. I think we're good now. Too many updates. Too many updates. My my stop my my streaming software version changed and the screen is all different now so I'm trying to adapt to that. Windows update broke my sound settings. <laughs> it's just it's been a great time. Uh, I get so used to having things set that I've forgotten a lot of the changes I've made and I haven't had to adjust them in a while. So a bit of a scramble to uh, get my brain to remember just all the things I fiddled with. Um, I think we're all set though. So yeah, welcome back everybody. Uh, had a bit of a rough time on Monday's stream. <laughs> we're going to sort of revisit the same thing, but we're going to change things up a bit. So what's going on is we're going to call this the Dead Evil 2, and we're going to switch from the really bad day start to a lab escape start because I want slash need to continue testing the turret changes. Now, if you haven't heard, if you haven't seen my PSA I put out on uh, the turret update, they changed turrets, and in addition to the changes of the turrets, at the end of that video, after I described all the turret changes, I also pointed out that for months now I've been complaining about wandering turret placements in labs. Well, apparently it was broke and it got fixed, so if you uh, aren't Knowing, build 9523, which we're now on, has an option in it that says fix monsters spawn not giving precedence to designated location. Basically, that fixes the, the wandering turrets. <laughs> so, I did a couple of quick tests earlier today, just jumping into labs real fast on that build to see if turrets were in their right places, and hey, they're back to where they're supposed to be. They're back on their counters. They don't appear to be wandering off the counters into their own little hallways and rooms and so on. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to encounter turrets in odd places, because there are a couple of times or places where there are specifically turrets kind of tucked into certain L nooks that is normal to have happen, my, is my understanding. I'm used to those. But we shouldn't have just the random turrets just being gone from certain rooms and doubled up in other rooms and all that kind of stuff. And the entry turret especially should be in its right spot. So, that's good news. I'm happy about that. Now, I've been told or pointed to a new PR that's actually coming through that's going to once again <laughs> completely change turrets. So, <laughs> the point of the whole mishmash nonsense about the current turn implementation is going to apparently go away again. So, I don't know who decides these things. But if you look at the new PR, it just totally changes how turrets are going to work. So, um, we'll go with what we got for the moment. I don't know when or if that one's going to get fully implemented. Uh, but it is a PR in progress. So, I forget the PR name on it. You can go look it up. But um, the turrets, as described in my PA, are still in-game with the lights turned off, with their ranges increased, and so on. 
Um, but we shouldn't have the more dangerous, in my opinion, problem of the wandering turrets. Now, we still have to deal with these new turrets having four night vision range, which is equal to the best that a starting character reasonably can get themselves. And I'm going to demonstrate that by the character build I've got here. But what we're going to do is we're just going to use the same basic overall goal storyline. I'm still going after the Necronomicon. We're still going to try to get it to a uh, Amagara Fault at the bottom of a mine. So we're going to still use that storyline, but we're going to, instead of doing the really bad day start, we're going to switch it into a Lab Escape start. We're doing the Lab Escape, Unwilling Mutant. I've got a character built. Uh, we're still going to call him Will and Mashley. I'm not going to change all that stuff up. And um, we're going to run the lab. So we're going to see, I need to, to get a good feel for how the current version of the turrets work. Just how big a pain in the ass they supposedly are. I'm not convinced they actually made the lab more difficult. I, barring certain minor changes in, in process, in my opinion, just from the way they, they read when I first saw the changes and the initial testing I did, in my opinion, they make the lab escape easier than harder. Um... As long as you're, you're, you're somewhat knowledgeable about how turrets in the labs are organized and, and, and how lab escapes work. But we'll see. I, I'm, I'm not 100% certain of it yet. So we're going to use this as a, an opportunity to test out the lab escape scenario. See if it's just as annoying as it might be or what kind of difficulties we've run into. So I want to do that. And we're going to escape the lab and then we'll go about our business trying to track down the Necronomicon and all that. Uh, but no more RBD. I'm tired of chasing the uh, the infection start, which isn't technically all that hard as it is lucky, depending on other factors you set in your difficulty settings. Um, so enough of that for now. We're going to go ahead and go back to my fast night vision character because I want to get through this lab escape and some of the other parts fairly quickly. like to explore the magicalism stuff a little bit deeper. Uh, that's kind of the one of the focuses that I want to try to get this guy into. Um... I thought I had this guy built. Is it not showing all the traits? Nope. It is different than what I remember. How did I? Wait a minute. Uh, this isn't the one. Oh, crap. <laughs> Give me a second. Did I not save the right one? That's the one I want. All right. Reset. There we go. All right, let's, let's get the right character up on screen here. There we go. That's the one I don't want to play with. All right, now, now we got the right one. Okay, there we go. So, I was, I was looking for my mana stuff, because I, I want to do play around more with uh, some of the higher-end magicalism stuff as part of the Necronomicon uh, Dead Evil run, so... Uh, we've got mana efficiency, greater mana efficiency, lesser mana sensitivity. That's going to give us a fairly decent amount of mana. Uh, an okay intelligence, nothing too special there. But um, some other stuff that'll help us out in the lab. Uh, we do have night vision. We've got uh, 10 perception. I threw an extra point in there just because. Um, not really. I'm not going to try to push it to 12, which is the only realistic way to get 5 night vision is to start with perception 12 and night vision. That's the only way you're going to get night vision. The old rules about how night vision gets you a certain number of squares doesn't quite work anymore. It's minus one from the old rules, which still bugs me. Um, yeah. Uh, imperceptive healer? Yeah, imperceptive healer. <laughs> I, I like playing with the really, really slow healing guys. I, I almost always will be picking, unless the theme I'm building just won't allow it, I always am going to be picking poor healer, imperceptive healer, one of those, depending. Um, so this guy, is, we're going to go with Imperceptive Healer. He's got other benefits. So the uh, the fangs and the hooves are going to be a huge benefit to early combat. And we've got a little bit of dodge, a little bit of melee, a little bit of unarmed. No fancy martial arts or anything like that. Um, I'm going to try to stick to brawling, but we'll, we'll see what comes up. Maybe we'll go min-max and get some pretty, pretty high-end uh, melee damage going on. Um, we'll see. But um, I do want to try to just get out of the lab in a relatively short period of time, if we can manage it, depending on these changes and what, what we actually encounter. Um, and then we'll stomp about the world. So that's kind of the plan. And yeah, if we get magical healing, that will, uh, that will fit in nicely with the imperceptive healer trait. Um, so William Ashley is not, uh, not quite as canonically <laughs> accurate for the source material as it used to be, but, uh, I wanted to change up the lab start and, um, get a few other things accomplished at the same time. So I can't quite hold to the same 
kind of a theme that I had the character build around previously. So we're going to go with this one and just uh, get her done. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Yes, I'm sure I'm finished. No fancy martial arts. To... Where the hell did they put me? <laughs> uh, and the first thing happens was get we get an error. Tried to access invalid map position. This ain't the jail. <laughs> How come I'm not in the jail? All right, I'm confused. This is uh, the doctor's office. This is where the shock zombie hangs out in this corner corner room. Huh. All right, well, <laughs> that's all right, I guess. I'm just a little surprised I'm not in the jail. So we're on level four. See what's at the top. See if we're underneath a research facility or a prison or a, a city. Ah, ah, research facility. <laughs> and I think we're still suffering from uh, farm spam. Farm spam on the overworld is a known issue. I had hoped that it was going to get fixed before we started this one up, but looks like we're going to have to deal with more farm spam. Oh, well. So, research facility again. I mean, I'm getting a lot of research facilities in the top of my lab starts. I've probably done three or four tests, and I think... 50 or 75 percent of them had a research facility at the top so that seems to be a fairly high percentage but it's pretty low sample all right well yeah no anthill <laughs> true i should count myself lucky we'll still have to deal with the the crap that's at the top of the uh the research facility knowing my luck the top floor in the security station is going to have two or three kevlar hulks stomping around so we may have to uh, bulk up our power level pretty, pretty, pretty significantly if I continue to have my evolution problems, um, where we're dealing with uh, top evolved zombies on day six, because <laughs> I'm not sure how fast we'll get out of here. So yeah, all right. So there's the full character sheet. Uh, now, depending on your knowledge of labs and labs escapes, there's a number of different strategies on getting out of the labs. Um, a typical start for me is uh, to go ahead and take Electronics 4, Computers 3. That's going to automatically give us the uh, couple of things that we're going to need. So, um, yeah, I'll go over it when we get to that point. But um, that, that'll give us a few things that we're going to need in order to get the escape done. Because uh, you ought to learn the recipes when you start with certain levels. And um, that'll help out quite a bit. So... That's good. In our current clothes, we got 6.9 dodge. Uh, that won't last because I'm going to be throwing clothes on, so I have some warmth protection and storage, of course. Uh, unarmed combat 3 and melee 2, and that's it. That's that's our skill list. Stats, no big deal. Um, no real gear to speak of. We're just in our briefs and our subject suit, so that's kind of why our dodge is so high because we're, we're just totally unencumbered. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much says it all. So we're on floor four. Nothing outside but forest and a uh, uh, barn, the desolate barn, and this silly rural house setup. I guess rural house is better than those empty. I thought that was one of the farm setups. That's a rural house. That's, that's okay, I guess. And we got a road to go somewhere. So at least at least we got that much. Um, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do. So howdy everybody in chat that uh, is waving and saying hi. Welcome back. Yeah, I've probably got the Acid Ant Hill just out of view on one side, and I've got the Fungal Tower just out of view on the other side. That's that's usually the luck. All right, let's uh, start stomping around. Let's go uh, safe mode on. So we do have to worry about the turrets. If you're not aware about the turret changes, the two major changes are that turrets now do not emit light, and they have Night Vision 4. So, if you take a look, I've got one, two, three, four vision myself. So that means that as long as I have safe mode on and I haven't used up all of my points for the round when I step into the space that's far away, I can get away from the turret before it shoots me. But <laughs> if uh, I'm on the second part of a movement or I've moved off a rough terrain and I'm low on movement points and I exhaust the points moving, 
and that last movement stepped me into range, I'm going to get shot. So, there are a few things you got to be careful of. Um, I'm hopeful that uh, we'll be able to roll through this without too much hesitation, but until I get a better feel for how they're actually working in the danger spots, I'm going to be a little slow and timid on getting through this. Now, like I said, I do recognize this room, so this is uh, not going to have a turret in it, typically. Right above me is where the shock zombie slash creepy crawler slash cyborg guard uh, will hang out. I'm going to leave that room alone. Um, I just don't want to get tagged or have to deal with a shock zombie this early. Uh, don't care. Don't care about this room. Yep, nowhere to go. It's going to be a hallway. So we do have a south door. We don't have any other directions to get out of here so far. Vending machines, and I have no cash cards yet. Well, we'll take the pistachios. In their kitchen. Ah, right, cranberry juice, pork, and beans. That's not bad. I'm going to leave them here for the moment. And peppermint patties. We'll leave those two. Anything in them? Empty, and I need a cash card. I think that's the drink one. I think this is the uh, snack one. So we'll leave that alone for now. Pick these other two rooms for gear. Glass jar, and nothing else. All right. So we got two directions, south and east. Now I am playing on my traditional game world settings, which you can check yourself in the uh, the chat screen. Uh, basically, double item or <laughs> double items, double zombies, half items, double speed evolution. And I've been using those settings for quite a while now as kind of my default game settings. And I change other things when I want more or less difficulty generally, unless I'm playing some kind of standard theme. Um, but the, the evolution is what I'm concerned about because I've been having problems with evolution just being ridiculous. So I'm not certain if that's still a problem. Somebody has told me that, um, speeding the evolution up like I do is, it's, it's affecting the evolution more than what the setting suggests it should, that there's something wrong there, given the time change in the game. Um, we're also starting what, oh, actually may, may I think that might be it. That's right. I keep forgetting we don't start on day one of... Sp day one is now actually 30 days into the Cataclysm. So, yeah, that actually might be right. So if it's counting from day... from Evolution is counting from the actual day one, not our day one starting point. Maybe that's why I'm seeing... All right. I think I understand what people have been trying to tell me now. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Alright. Time to get killed by Nothix again? Not anytime soon. <laughs> nope. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it comes up again. <clears throat> I was going to get killed by those Nothix no matter what, because I was going to let them loose. My plan was to get in there regardless. My only issue with the Nothix, again, is just their ability to be released from the bookstore and let loose into the city. Early game characters would absolutely have no way of defending against those Nothix. And I had two of them on me, not just one. It was two Nothics running loose in that bookshop that any zombie could have broken a window and let out. That's my only issue with them. You want to make them tough? Make them tough. Just don't make them tough and then put them in the middle of a city where anything can turn them loose on the sidewalk. That's that's my only issue. Alright. Uh, so we have light. Peek. Do, do, do. Rec room. Uh, don't... Oh, I love this lighting. I can't see you right next to me. <laughs> All right, we got a hoodie. We got some warmth and some carry capacity. And again, I'm in the light, but I can't see. It's amazing. Lighting code must be just holy hell to try to figure out because it, it it's just been weird for a while. And uh, I know they put a lot of a lot of effort and brain power into it, uh, but it's still got some really screwy parts. So, I don't have a crowbar yet. Lots of things around that'll let me get a crowbar. So let's get that done before I go anywhere else. Let's get a... Let's get a stick. And I guess we can... Nah, let's do it on the light here. Die! Alright. 
Let's get us a crowbar. Okay, we got our makeshift crowbar in hand. I'm not going to bother with lock picks. There's no locks to pick. <laughs> well, what what's my focus? 94. Let's do lock picks anyway, just so I can get my fab maxed out or get my fab to 1 beforehand. Go ahead and do 12 lock picks. All right, there's fab 1. Um Care. Hmm. What is it? A spike plus a string? Spike plus rags or string. All right. Uh, rags I can definitely get. Get the knife done. Uh, yeah, go ahead and drag them. All right, we've got the makeshift knife. Uh, plenty of general raw materials. Whoops. Just debating. Do I want to do cudgels or do I just want to... Yeah, let's go for the cudgel. Oops. Don't... Oh. Oh. Yeah, I do. Hmm. Weird. All right, uh, we'll go with cudgel for our initial melee weapon, and then we'll use our uh, our hooves and our fangs for additional damage. It should take care of the standard zombies pretty easily. If you're not familiar with these uh, kinds of character builds, um, go with a bindle or no bindle. Bindle, no bindle. Well, we've got the rags here. Let's get some bandages made up. Get our tailoring up a level. Uh, that got us to 84%. Let's do uh, three more. Alright, so we got tailoring one. And we'll take three bandages just in case. Get a wooden needle done. And I would need thread to make just about anything else. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I saw the um, the new player size choices in the character build. I hadn't looked at them really carefully. I don't, I don't, I haven't dealt with them, so I don't know what negatives are necessarily applied for being too overweight. I know there are some, but I haven't actually dealt with them myself. I usually don't have a problem maintaining a normal body weight in my gameplay, and I haven't yet tried to pick those kinds of things. Um, for the start of the game, so not sure exactly what the negatives are. Negative health modifier, eh, eh, I guess. Guess it would depend on just how nasty the negative gets, um, and if it can be counterbalanced by eating relatively healthy foods, or or you just let yourself starve for a while. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well balanced that part of the process is yet. Does it have a? Um, like movement debuffs and things like that. That that might be interesting. If you're too overweight, you're not able to move as fast. Things like that. No speed debuff? Huh. That seems a little odd to me. But um, Or even a stamina debuff? I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll fiddle around with it at some point, probably. 
Um, all right, what else do we want to get done, though? If I need thread, I need to either find string, which is going to be finding curtains and that, or I've got to pick apart rags, which is my most hated activity. Let's, um, let's go pop these crates real quick, see if anything interesting jumps out. Hey, there's the spring we need. <laughs> I'm always needing a spring for my telescope. All right, nothing interesting popped out of the crates. Um... Do I want to do the... Let's see, I'm going to need... Now I'm going to need string for the other tools. We're going to just keep looking around for now, I think. Let's let's get some more clothes and stuff. It's not super important. I get some of this other early game, low-level stuff. We got the uh, cudgel, we got the crowbar, we got our knife, we got... I'm not even going to take the lockpicks. I don't need those. Uh, a few bandages, some pistachios to take the edge off. Um... Yeah, let's, let's just go with what we got here for the moment. All right, let's keep looking around. <laughs> Due to a glitch in vegetable pizzas and me not noticing was giving 16,000 calories per serving, speed does not reduce as of about three weeks ago. Huh, all right. I'm okay with uh, some of that. It just seems a little weird there's not some other effects with the, the weight changes. But uh, I don't know if programming those kinds of things is difficult in some way. I, I know nothing about the coding. I stay away from the coding side of things. So some of my opinions are fairly ignorant because I just don't know what's possible or not possible in regards to uh, coding changes in the game. What, what would seem like an easy idea can sometimes be just an impossible nightmare based on what the uh, the coding allows. Some stuff just can't be done simply. Uh-oh. <laughs> Blitzplotch! Blitzplotch! Let's see. With that arrangement... It's got to be a turret, right? It's got to be a turret shooting zombies? Eek. Nope. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's interesting. So we've got either a Skell Jug or a Hulk stomping around up here usually when I see the open barracks or open prisoner containment. Um, not usually a mole rat doing this. This is typically Skell Jug or Hulk. Oh, we got clean jeans on the ground. <laughs> Oh, there's the noise. Can I get to the jeans? Fortunately, it's lit. I need to smash this light real fast. Yep, Mr. Hulk. <laughs> well, that's going to change the arrangement more than a little bit. Alright. I think he didn't get too interested in me to break through the door and come after me. Let's, um... Yeah, we, we, we can't mess with that. <laughs> Weren't turrets changed to not glow anymore? Also, range increases? Well, yeah, according to the uh, turret PSA video that I put out a couple days ago. <laughs> that is correct. That's one of the reasons we're doing this lab run, is so that I can check the uh, turret change and the fix that they made to turret placement. Turrets no longer wander around in their placement, and they should be back to their... Long established canon locations. Now, whether it's a good or bad thing that turrets were wandering is a totally different debate, but the problem that was causing them to be misplaced has been fixed as of uh, build 9523. So, from the limited testing I did earlier today, it seems like they're all back where they're supposed to be. Um, and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this lab start for this particular challenge, is so we can test the turret changes. No, I said turret because of the blood splotch, not because of the light. <laughs> the light had nothing to do with it. The blood splotch was, I thought, I couldn't see anything beyond this one corner here. So I thought this was going to be a room with a turret up here that had shot a something to create a blood splotch. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not expecting there to be light there. All right, well, we're going to have to leave that alone. I'm not certain if it's the barracks. Oh, no, that's the barracks. That's definitely a barracks. Oh, I would so love to get into a barracks. An early free barracks. All the soldier per soldier clothes I could want, possible pistols in the the, the uh, lockers. Uh, I just got to be able to deal with getting chased by a Hulk, though. No convenience... 
What I need to find is I need to find a nearby um, blob trap room. There's a nearby blob trap room. I might be willing to try to play hide and seek with the Hulk. And try to lead him into a blob trap. And that way I could uh, get access to that, that barracks. That would be a massive, massive power upgrade to get, be able to get into a pre-opened barracks right at the start. Hmm. Now, of course, there could be a second Hulk in there. <laughs> there could also be a, uh, a grenade-chucking robot in one of the, the, the barracks rooms. <laughs> so there's still a lot of possibilities for getting killed up there. Um... I only got two doors to try, so we got the door to the south and we got the door there, so we're 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 blocked out of the other directions. Alright. I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the other one first. Put some more distance between me and that Hulk for now. Let's see where this goes. Ah, apartment complex. Well that made my life easier. Now I've got access to the uh the curtains and the string that I needed to make a bunch of things. Hey there, apartment complex. A lit apartment complex, right at... Ah, uh, somebody's in here with me. I didn't make that noise. I didn't break that window. Alright. Security guard, standard zombie. Standard security guard. Um... Hmm. Hmm. With his protection values, I think my kicks and my fangs will still get damage in. But I've got in I, I got the, the imperceptive healer trait, so I really gotta think hard about what damage I'm willing to take. And is it better to just lead him off to some room and leave him? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to lock him in the one of the elevator rooms. I'm not sure if he can get through those doors or not. So come on, come on this way, you. Come here, you. Let's see if I can get you locked in here successfully. The answer's probably gonna be no. Alright, run mode. Or the answer is yes. <laughs> All right, so we got him locked in the elevator. Uh, yeah, I did get a response on the Twitch partnership thing. Unfortunately, they said no. They said, uh, channel's looking great. You're growing well. We just need to see a little bit more consistency and uh, some more time and some more numbers. So, unfortunately, the answer was uh, nope, not this time. Thanks for playing. Please try again. Fish, waistcoat. Uh, so we got a pot to cook in. Hey there, Calder's Realm. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Yeah, appreciate the numbers. We did have a bit of a drop off on viewership numbers in between the time where we made the goal and they actually issued the uh, the judgment. Um, so I don't know how much that actually changed things, but it was honestly a pretty, re a relatively short time. We had a pretty big boost where we started getting to the numbers they consider. Um, so I, I, I'm not, I'm not unhappy or, or un upset about uh, the turn down. I was kind of expecting. I, I gave myself about a 25 to 35, some somewhere in there, chance of getting it on the first try. Um, so we'll just keep growing. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll apply again. There's no restriction on when I can apply again. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm probably going to wait a couple months before we do. Let's go to, uh, take those. I'm just going to leave the foodstuffs. Go ahead and grab the spring. We've got light here, so I can turn this into my little base area temporarily. Nothing in that kitchen. <laughs> Damn crazy lighting. I can't see what's <laughs> what's next to me. Hydrogen peroxide. Well, that's somewhat useful. Alright, so let's check out the hallway. Ah, blobs! Um, 
<laughs> Not the kind of blobs I was looking for. I didn't mean to be running either. Uh, it's because I've got the volume turned down. I don't I don't hear them real well when I go into uh, walk mode. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! Hey there. Uh, Thank you very, very much, Pretty Firecaster. That is a whole lot of uh, gift subs. Appreciate that. It's going to take a while for all those to roll through there. <laughs> oh, three moves salute. Yeah, can we get a three moves salute for the uh, a very generous gift sub donation there? Yeah, I'm still not really in the habit of uh, self-promoting and all that kind of stuff. It's something I'm just hesitant to do. Um, so it's going to take some more kicks in the butt for me to really get into the swing of things and uh, keep producing. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'll just talk over it for now. But uh, I tend to slow down when we've got all these gift subs rolling through. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not something I'm... I'm really good at. I need to get better at it. Um, promotional videos on my YouTube channel, mentioning things here on the, the live streams and all that. So we did have a pretty big drop off from uh, the 30 days ago when I did that video asking for help for the partnership program. So I need to put out another reminder to all the Amazon Prime folks that uh, they need to get over here and renew their, their Twitch Prime subs. I don't want to deal with those guys right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go on the grabbing those materials and dragging them down here. Let's do that. Oh, he is making noise in there. Oh, that's right. The stuff's over where closer to where the Hulk is. All right, let's let's not go there for now. I wanted to see if the other side of the hallway had the uh, blobs a little further. Ah, oh, stairs down. Now the perennial question, do we go down for the ID card or we just go up and uh, try to work our way around the turret that way? Um, do we have a door that way? Dodge is still pretty good. All right, so take a look at these numbers here. So we are getting our fang damage. We're getting 10 points of damage on our fangs as we bite the small blobs on the floor. I guess I'm crawling around on my hands and knees, biting blobs. <laughs> we didn't quick strike for much with our, our club. And then we got hoof, 24 damage with the hoof. God, hooves are so ridiculously powerful. If you're not aware, <laughs> taking a hoof is pretty powerful as long as you know that you're going to have to deal with some temperature issues because you can't wear shoes. Um, but uh, the damage they put out, especially if you've got a decent strength, is just ridiculous. So look at all that hoof damage. I really don't even need a melee weapon. Just fangs and hooves are doing 34 damage all by themselves sometimes. But we want to use the melee weapon to raise our skills as well. All right. Yep, this is, uh, for anybody just joining in, this is an alternate version of the challenge. This is the Dead Evil 2 challenge. <laughs> we switched up from RBD over to the lab challenge so I can explore, test, and abuse the new turret mechanics. Um, that's one of the big goals of this one now is first, actually get in-game testing of the new turret mechanics. I'm not convinced that the intended goal of the changes, which was to make turrets harder, is true. When you're outside the lab and you're dealing with turrets, you're still going to shoot them from farther away than they can shoot you. It might take you a few more shots, but you're still going to do it. So I don't see why that has any real effect in the gameplay. And uh, in labs, if you can not get shot because there's no light most of the time, I don't see how that's harder. I mean, especially the exit turret. You know where it's at. You can step within five spaces of it, lay an EMP grenade on the ground next to it instead of having to train your throwing skill up for that 13 space throw and uh, get rid of it that way. So I'm not convinced that it's actually accomplishing the stated goal, but we'll see. I'll probably get killed here a dozen times and uh, eat my words. But, um, oh, I like this. We've even got downstairs and upstairs right here in the hallway. 
All right, that's good. Hey, all the uh, the rewards are done for flowing through there. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> more more stuff. Thank you very much, Grimith. Long time lurker, first time caller. Here's defeating the streams. Real hero zombie dog. I don't know who you're referring to. There's no zombie dogs here. <laughs> Zombie dog's down, taking a nap on the kitchen floor where it's coolest. So, he'll make an appearance a little bit later. We'll bring zombie dog in when it's zombie dog and Varmithrax snack time. Alright. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for that kind donation. Very, very much appreciate it. <laughs> you have to research 95% of my challenges? Ask because they're all old man <laughs> challenges. They're all old man references. Sorry about that. <laughs> do do more blobs. Die blobs. I miss the good old days when eating blob globs was a go-to strategy for actually surviving in the lab escapes. Back before we had these apartment uh, sections and. All the vending machines and so on. You, you you really had starvation as a serious issue for lab escapes. And Blob Globs was one of the go-to solutions for actually uh, staying alive in the lab. A radiated pair of teapot. Well, that's, that's exciting stuff. A couple of not useful novels. I gotta remember to check the, uh, the bathrooms. I got surprised once. Whoops. Hey there, other security guard. <laughs> Uh, I gotta remember to turn safe mode back on too. Um, I am I am hesitant. Four point nine dodge. Let's let's do this. Let's back off of this guy just for a moment. Let's dump the hoodie in the waistcoat. That'll get us back up to six point nine dodge, and then we're gonna go after this guy. I want to see how our dodge handles him. Let's get him on there. Miss. Alright, fangs for 16 that time, and 3 from our quick strike with our cudgel. I don't expect the cudgel to do much. There's a kick for 26, and a critical hit from our cudgel for 11. That's a pretty good one. Nope, back on the sofa with you. Quick strike, well that was pretty good. Dodge kicked in really, really well. And all the other damage, of course. Ah, Sig Pro! Only 2 rounds in the Sig Pro! We got a cash card for that local vending machine. We can go check it out. No batteries. Take the cash card. Got somebody making noise south of me. Let's put those back on. Grab my gear back. And before I forget, I think I'm going to go up and deal with this other security guard right now. Get our stamina back. All right, security guard. Uh, no convenient terrain to hang you up on. I don't think I'll need it, though. 26 and 8. 26 and 4. 16 and 4. Oh, he got me. <laughs> he got a hit in. Another cash card. And... and don't care about the rest. I do got to be careful of my stamina. I think the free attacks are also draining stamina. So if I get more than one thing in a fight, or a couple things in a fight, I think I might get in trouble by not paying a little better attention to that stamina. So there we go. We got just some drinks. Um, not too worried about any of this for now. Grab that. Grab that. Sort category. Alright, we're full up unless I get some more more gear put together. Got the string, I could do the bindle stuff now. Um We're definitely not in taking on a Hulk mode. Alright, let's assume we're going to base out of here for a little bit. Let's set up. There. Yeah, 
Let's check the other side real quick. Finish checking the other side. A lemon. Not worried about a lemon. Some mittens. Don't need mittens in the lab. Didn't get very lucky with the uh, the clothing. Nothing there. Uh, yeah. All right. Where are the sheets? Of the string. trying to decide how much time I want to spend here versus doing a quick explore, see what my options are. Not too much that I would make is going to have much of an effect on this earlier run around getting stuff done. But I do have to make the decision, up or down. Right now, we're in good shape. Uh, focus sucks as it always will. Early game with no way to really get it back up again. I got lots of doors for choices. We've got a Hulk up in the northern barracks up there. I would really like to get rid of. I should base. I should go open this door, see what this section is, to see if I get lucky and get a 3 by 3 grid with uh, uh, blob traps. If I can get a blob trap in this section, I'd be willing to play peekaboo hide and seek with that Hulk. Pop the door, get his attention, run him south, and try to lure him into a uh, a slime trap. That's... yeah, let's, let's figure that out before I check the stairs. So, what do we got? Big scary open room I can't see the edges of. So this... this is the... Alright, so this room I recognize. Now there can be a turret in some of these types of rooms. Just a dust mask. Alright. This is the one with lots of crates and the uh, switch you throw. Usually there's a couple of regular zombies in here as well. Earplugs! Flashlight without battery. <laughs> More earplugs. Not exactly what I need. I'll definitely take the filter mask with charge. That's good. And that's it for the initial start. More security guards. Um, there's likely to be a number of these guys, so let's, let's go high dodge again. Come and get me, you. Come on. Good sequence. Uh, useless. Anybody else in here? Just the one? That's a pretty light crowd for this little area. Alright, let's see what else we get. Oh, I don't have my crowbar with me. You know, still very low carry capacity. Probably need to go back and get a bindle or something put together, or a sling. E ink tablet PC with battery. Um, sure. I'm going to switch that battery out because I'm not going to use you very often. We'll throw you into the flashlight. And take some water. Ah, a whole bunch of nothing otherwise. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> um, while I'm thinking about it, one more second.
Uh, there you go, Freedy. Enjoy your, your chat freedom <laughs> with your VIP badge. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, what am I working on? So this room did not give me the trap that I was hoping for. We got ways out still. I'm going to have to find another way of dealing with the Hulk. <laughs> no, you're you're not VIP. You got to do something useful to be VIP. <laughs> Just showing up regularly. You, you think that's enough? You think that earns you VIP? Baloney! I gotta get rid of my cudgel to get my baloney. Uh, damn it! I knew I should have uh, backed off and gotten my, my dodge skill up. Yeah, the VIP status, uh, it just... It lifts a few restrictions on chat capabilities. Um, you can get away with a little bit more than uh, than the plebes that don't have it. <laughs> and it's another another thank you method. Appreciate the uh, both the active and the lurking support. Alright, so, got the next section done. Let's go west this time. I'm gonna do this... Oops, didn't pulp you? That was irresponsible of me. Uh-oh. Light! Eek! Uh, it's the possible trap room. Not seeing any electricity yet. Body bags! And... Don't care about the hexamine. I do care about the large fire extinguisher because that will possibly, if I can get the tools, get me the uh, steel jerry can. Come back for it later if I decide I need it. Come on, give me some clothing. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for. No, nothing there. Another one of you guys. All right, let's. Heavy duty flashlight, even better. Don't care about the rest, though. Unload. Drop. We'll take it. I maintain that I have never once found anything useful in that set of crates. To the point where I a lot of times just shrug and just walk right on by. This room has just never been particularly useful. Alright, so we still can't go... Oh, actually, we can go west. I'm getting the feeling this might be an endpoint location here, given the distance we've gone without seeing uh, another way to the west. So that could be barracks, library, prisoner containment. Let's head back up that way. Sort some loot real quick. Make some decisions. I need to increase my carry capacity. 
What do we got? Yep, it's an endpoint. Sort of. Ah, computer lab's good for parts, for electronics, and library. Hmm. Computers 3, library entrance. I want to say it's about a 50% chance I get into this thing. Or I shock myself. <laughs> or it just turns off. Early library be pretty good. Um, or I leave it for now, get the rest of my early exploration done. Maybe find the mid-level computer book and get another level or two, and then I uh, pretty much have a guaranteed option to get in. I think I'm going to wait for the moment. We'll, uh, we'll note it, but I'm not in sit-down-and-read-a-bunch-of-books mode right now anyway. So, we'll see. If we, if we don't have an option to raise our computer skill, I'll give it a try when we get back here. Uh, so, it was an endpoint. Uh, we've got lots of doors to the south and the east, and we've got the Hulk and the barracks up north. I just don't have a good place to lead the Hulk. Dissectors wouldn't do anything to it, really, and uh, pretty much the blob trap is the solution, <laughs> short of getting a gun big enough to just shoot him. I could try to lead him on a merry chase for a while, then circle back and hope I get a gun in the barracks, but given that I might be walking into additional danger up there, I, I don't think I can... I can go for that. <laughs> Shock time, do eat. No. Yeah, the Blob Pit's pretty fun when you know to use it and you recognize the um, the tactical landscape and the ability to uh, put its power to use. I did it pretty recently. I forget which challenge it was, but um, we, we, we dealt with some hulkish issues, which was pretty fun. Actually, I quick-tipped that thing, didn't I? I think I did a one of the tactical movement uh, episodes on it, if I remember right. Uh, all right, let's go back to here real quick. I need to get a solution for a few things. So 